Michigan, it's the Great Lakes State. That's a nickname that tells the whole world that we care about water. In Michigan, there's over 11,000 inland lakes and over 36,000 miles of streams just like this one. No matter where you go in the state, you're never more than six miles away from one of them. But the waterways and natural areas in our state are threatened. But Michigan is also rich in natural metals in the soil and the mining companies want to get a hold of that stuff. But the problem is getting to those metals can be a scary process. The metals are in sulfide rich ore, basically rocks full of sulfur. And when the rainwater washes against those newly exposed rocks, it creates sulfuric acid. This is sulfuric acid, and this is the stuff that's released into the environment when sulfide mining occurs. It looks pretty harmless, it looks a lot like water, but sulfuric acid is definitely not harmless. What I have right here is ordinary white sugar, and I'm going to use this to show how dangerous the acid actually is. I'm going to mix the two together, and you can see that I'm wearing gloves and goggles because the reaction that takes place is dangerous. Just watch. First, the sugar turns brown, but then after a little bit, you can start to see the serious reaction. So that nice white sugar is now a smoking pillar of black gross carbon. And this is the stuff that would be leaking into the water, into the environment, and doing damage. That's what sulfuric acid does. It damages things. And I don't think that's going to be really healthy for the fish and wildlife there. There's never been a sulfide mine that didn't damage the environment. Sulfide mines create sulfuric acid, and sulfuric acid is not safe. I don't want sulfuric acid in my waterways or in my natural areas. Sulfide mining is a bad decision for Michigan, and I hope you feel the same way so we can work together and save the wild UP.